Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. I hope you are liking our videos. If yes, then please subscribe to the channel and if you watch the content in Hindi, go to the channel ServiceNow Help Desk Hindi and you can follow our blog as well. In today's video, I am discussing an old topic but I recently discovered that we can modify the list context menu. Yes, this is new to me and I thought let's share it with you. Okay, so let's go to the context menu right away. So this is the list of all list context menus which appears all over the list view. Let me open one of it. Show matching. I hope you already have seen this, right? So this one, show matching, it is the same which we see here. So as soon as we open it, we can see the table on which it is available. It is on global table. It is the menu. Okay, so you see all these three options are available. List title, list header or list row. So it is a list row. That's why you are seeing it here. Okay, on the list rows. It is an action type context menu. It means it, means it will act immediately as soon as you click on it. And this is the name which we are seeing. This is the condition. If you want, you can have the parent. You know how the parent works. Like uh, uh, here in assign tag, you have this. So these are the childs of this assign tag. So assign tag is a parent. Okay. So in this way, you can configure the parent thing. So after this, I have two special fields here, which is action script and the on show script okay so these two scripts are the most important one when we come to a context menu and both of these scripts run at the client side okay so let us discuss the action script first of all as you know this is uh, running on the client side that i already told you along with that you must be aware of the four variables which are available here so g list g underscore field name GCCID, row CCID. So it is very well explained here. So GCCID is the CCID of the row which is selected. Like right now, if I select this one, so this particular row is selected, right? So the CCID which is captured by GCCID is the second record that is show matching. I hope you understand it now. And then you see here the normal glide ajax is being used. So it is a normal scripting, but you must know what is the action script, okay? And then we have the onshow scripts. Now the question comes into your mind is that when the action script will run and when the onshow script is run. Okay. So this is the most important thing here. Let me show you. So this is the wiki page of action script. You see the script runs when someone select the context menu option. It means as soon as we select the option which is there in the context menu, then the script will run. And then here we have the onshow script. The onshow script field defines a script that runs before the context menu is being displayed to determine which option to appear. Okay. So here you see I have created a sample context menu that is uh, filter out incident that is on incident table. Okay. And in the both action script I have added an alert like action script running and same in the show script where I have added alert like on show script is running so this will let us know which script is running first and when it is running so let's go to the incident form let me reload this okay so now i will right click here as soon as i right clicked you see the on show script is running it means just before the menu is displayed just remember the definition of on show script okay it means all the calculations which have to be done before display of the menu before display of the list context menu will be written here for example the grouping option is not available in few of the fields right so it is the onshow script which enable it or disable it just before displaying the menu okay so as soon as we click ok you see the particular menu and this is the one which we have created now i am clicking on it so as soon as I clicked on it, you see the action script is running. So now it is being crystal clear when which script is running. Okay. So my friends, if you have any such requirement where you need to create a new list context menu, you can do so. Or if you want to play with the existing list context menu options, you can try it now. Now you are aware of the action script. You are aware of the onshore script, their behavior, their execution details, everything. Okay. 
सो स्टे ट्यून लेट अस नो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच बाय बाय